Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back. This is my 1990 Caprice Classic. It's got 71,000 miles on it. This was a friend of the family who passed away. It was, uh, actually the owner was 102 years old. Yep, she was 102 and I'm not lying. But this car has been in the garage its whole life since 1990. And it's pretty much was just a grocery getter. You know, it's got a it's got a scratch scratches here and there and chips here and there, but this is original paint. But yeah, it's definitely been in the garage since 1990 and it hasn't been used since 2010 it was just sitting in the garage and so if you guys follow me or know me at all you know i had a 79 caprice back in the day that got wrecked and so my friend paul he was like when my mom passed away you know you can buy this one and she lived to 102 and I didn't want it all the years. That was like 15 years, 20 years. They were just telling me I could take this this car when, not take it, but they said, you know, it's mine if I want to buy it. And I did. And so I've had it probably like a year just sitting in storage because I didn't have time to deal with it. But yeah, Paul passed away too. He passed away first. This is crazy. But he was in his 70s and I was, he was a good guy, a good friend of our family. An uh, ex Oakland police officer who was shot on duty in the 1970s, and he was a good cop. He wasn't like a dirty one of them fools, you know. He was a good guy, one of them beat walking officers and stuff. How they used to be real back in the day. But anyway, this was his mom's car, and I still need to vacuum it out. I haven't done anything to the interior. You can see it's clean, but I'm a uh, I'll clean, I'm gonna clean it up even more. I did uh, wash the car. My brother had waxed it when when I got it. He washed it and waxed it when we got it, and then it got dusty. It was sitting inside still, but it got dusty, so I just washed it again. Cause they're working on where the storage where to store it at and. I got a lot of cars and so you guys know I'm fixing my 79 but I can't lie driving this thing man I mean this is a box right here my 79 is like a conglomeration of like heck of parts so you can see it's got little dings here and there it's not perfect like I said it was an old lady owned well I guess the, her husband was still alive when they bought it but for most of the time it was just he had passed away in the early 90s and so it was just hers and this has been sitting here in North Oakland no one probably knows about it you know everyone used to have a have a Caprice and so this is just one that was still in the garage and I've known about it for years and I just was like I don't want it yet because I know once I get it it's gonna be sitting outside and so we're outside now so I got a cover I'm about to put on it but it's really too nice to be outside I don't have a garage that it'll fit in or I could put it in. So, yeah, it looks like the brake master cylinder might be leaking. I'm sure it needs a little stuff here and there. You know, I haven't even got into it or under it yet. So, that's nothing right there. I'm, I'm an expert at that. So, let me just start it up real quick since I'm filming so you can see it's got 71,632 and that works it might need some brakes or something right now but it runs like a sewing machine like a top like like a caprice is supposed to this isn't a dirty one that hasn't it probably was maintained and taking the GM for all 71,000 of these miles or at least professionally mechanic because you know that Paul was a mechanic and uh, everyone that he knew was mechanic. So yeah, probably gonna need something to do with that brake master cylinder, but it's not actually 
stops pretty good. But you know it's gonna need little stuff here and there just because it's been sitting so long. But this is a little video I'll do on it right now because I got it out here and it's clean. So you know, if I wait till tomorrow, it'll be dusty again. So I'll just get it right now. You know, it's got little chips on it. I'm sure you might be able to get some of this stuff out. You know, it's got a little scuff down there, you know, on the paint. You could probably wax that out. I mean, my brother probably got some stuff out, but he probably didn't go for all of it. So all these little scratches, that might could buff out. That's not really my area of expertise. You know what I'm saying? But you could really clean this car up and just ride it like it is. They had to use some touch-up paint. I think on that one right there. They used touch-up paint on that scratch. It's like the wrong color. But my brother, there was some on this side. He buffed it off because it was like, what? So, yeah, there's a lot of little stuff that you can really clean up on this car. And I probably might get to. You know, it's got all the original bumper fillers still. It's got one crack in it right there. That's pretty good. That's got a little crack on it. But they retro, they repro all that stuff. So, the top is, man, nice. You feel me? Got my, put my protectant on there. I need to put some more of that uh, aerospace, the 303 stuff, I think it's called. But yeah, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get on cleaning it a little bit more, but it'd probably be for sale. I mean, it's because I got so many cars. Don't let me drive it for too long. You know, it's got all the trunk carpet, everything nice. The stereo was working. The tape was stuck in there. I got the tape out. But the stereo, like, stereo works. Speakers, I think, are not working correctly. I think it has a prestige alarm that's disconnected. It was probably giving it problems. I just left the sticker for now. I might take it off, but I figure it doesn't hurt to have people think it's got an alarm. You could probably hook that up if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, it's clean. Like, if you're into boxes, then the show points, right, are like the window felt, the window strip, weather stripping. I mean, it's got a little piece missing, but you, I mean, not missing, but it's got a little crack right there. But I'm saying, you guys know what these usually look like. chip here chip there water spot <clears throat> but that comes off you know what i'm saying but man it's clean though super clean all the chrome is bright and shiny you know if you look if you start looking hard you're gonna see like little chips around here you will probably don't even see that when you close the door though so it's there you know they got it got some chips very minor though i'm saying this is like this paints this paint stayed in the garage so you know it's got a little bit of wax wax over whatever you want to call it leftover wax but now nah, you can really clean this car up nice i mean it's already nice i'm so i i don't really see too many of this clean so i'm kind of just like i should just stop stop talking and just let the, the video do it yeah man it's got all these rubbers and everything like probably clean that off if you want to I haven't even got at that yet I just basically want to show the body while it's uh while it's clean you know what I'm saying you could really try to wax that up some there's like a little ding right there just want to make sure you guys see all that but yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So I'm gonna have to check out the brake thing, but that's nothing. You know, 
It's got some chips. Like I say, she was older lady. She probably didn't drive it. Like, she was 102, and that was like a couple years ago. The caregiver, her caregiver was driving it though. So I was like, oh man, they need to just leave that thing in the garage. I was scared it was gonna get wrecked or something. You never know. Big, big old car out on the street these days like if it's not me driving it then i'm like i don't know they might not be professional enough to handle the caprice but yeah you guys can see it's clean original white plates everything original so that's it right there and i'm gonna clean up the interior is clean but i'm saying you know even with a vacuum it'll look cleaner so i'm not gonna like show it off super right now but the headliner is still up there I'm saying one crack in the dash. So it happens to the best of them. But yeah, everything, everything's here. I'm gonna come over here in the shade, take some pictures of it. And you know, probably needs an oil change and spark plugs and stuff like that before I try to smog it. But, You guys get the idea. So it looks even better in the shade. That was the sun just beaming on it. So you guys can see the body and stuff now. That's original paint. All original, clean title, California car. I've known the owner since my whole life. They're like grandparents and parents to me, you feel me? So yeah, this is one of those originals. Got a little thing right there. You know what I'm saying? Got some parts for me cleaning. So usually I just show the bad stuff. So hopefully you guys pay attention to all the good stuff that I'm not talking about. get it even better like I said cleaning the cars isn't really my specialty I could have cleaned up pretty good good enough but I'm like like waxing and detailing and stuff so they could get in there and clean all that wax out I'll probably get on I might get on it again but I think you guys get the idea so that's it right there out here Mike had to represent again for the Caprice shout out to all the Caprice classic riders out there bring them back but here's one you don't even got to bring back you could just give me some money and you could hop in it I think I say like man I'm thinking like six thousand right now I see him going for more I mean I see people asking for more but I don't know if I could even go for less than that because I don't need to sell it I could just put it back in storage like the building it's in they had to do some electron uh electronic work some wiring or something and my car was like in the way so i just popped up in it and said let me go clean it up and and get some video of it and some pictures because the caprices are riding out here in oakland these days in the bay area shout out to all the caprice riders out there 
So I thought I'd just break it out because maybe someone would just cash me out for it. Because, like I said, I got so many cars. Just as long as it's someone who's going to give it a good home. And you can't come with that low ball and stuff. But yeah, that's it. That's like 15 minutes of the, of the Caprice right there. So I'll get some more footage later. Look at that. That's like an American Spirit car. Look. It has a big cigarette pack on the top of it. Yeah. Look at about it. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, that's the type of shit you see out here. So I'm just wasting gas. And I'm going to turn it off to take some pictures. And it's almost 420. Shouldn't show y'all this. Oh, now they don't want to buy it because they know I'm smoking. I'm not going to smoke in the car. Not at all. And so yeah, I'm gonna get some pictures of it now. But there it is, 1990 Caprice Classic, and me talking for hell long. All right, peace, y'all.